Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, The Nationals. I'm Rachel and I'm going to do a video today on a C-section, what to expect for your C-section. Um, I have actually had six C-sections. Uh, that is a lot. <laughs> Uh, the reason why I had a c-section in the first place is because I have what is called a bicornuate uterus where my uterus is actually like shaped like a heart instead of like this so I have two sides um, and my babies usually go in one side and then they grow in that side and stay in that side until birth um, they do have a thing called an EVC which I'm sure you're familiar with especially if you're looking at this video uh, where they can manually turn the baby from the outside my doctor did not want to do that with my first in 2009 because they were afraid with my bicorneate uterus at the top that comes down right here um, that the baby would just flip right back and that it would be dangerous to the baby. So we just went ahead with a scheduled C-section. After that, my second baby was also breech. And so we did a, another C-section. And then my third one was breech until the day before, uh, the day before I had a C-section. And don't mind my baby, she's having tummy time right now. Very important, tummy time. Anyway, so um, yeah, my third, she was breech until the day before or of the C-section. I think it was like the day before. And um, the only reason I know that is because I had ultrasounds frequently because with my uterus, it can actually restrict the baby's growth. Um, I have not had that happen, thankfully. Uh, so six C-sections. Um, I want to talk about when you go in for your c-section every hospital is different I don't know all the rules, um, but I'm gonna go over over mine, and I'm sure they're similar um, So before you go into a c-section They don't want you eating eight hours before it's very important that you don't eat and the reason why is because you could get nauseous and being nauseous uh, During a c-section is terrible. I've actually had that happen um and you could throw up and if that happens and you get if you've eaten a lot of times they'll say well we're gonna have to put you all the way under so then you won't be able to see your baby be able to see your baby be born because when you go in for a c-section uh, you are alert and awake and you are able to see the baby born and it's amazing So when you first get to the hospital, or when I first got to the hospital, so I'll just say when I, because I don't want to say when you, because I don't know what your experience will be. Um, but when I got to the hospital, the first thing they did is weigh me. They took me back. They asked me if I had anything to eat or drink. I said no. Um, they prepped me with um, a special solution of some sort on my belly and pelvic area where they're gonna make the incision and they just clean it really good. They put you in a gown, they give you a cap, they give your partner a cap and um, uh, like a bodysuit type thing that they wear into the OR and some booties for their feet. Um, they did not allow my husband to go in there yet until uh, they had me prepped once I went back there. So they'll walk you back, sorry, they walked me back there. Um, they walked me back and they had me sit on the bed and they had a nurse for me so i had my own nurse which is great because I, i'm i get nervous everyone gets nervous uh and that nurse is there to help comfort you and they really did a good job with that uh so she handed me a pillow and i just kind of grabbed it in the front and they tell you to lean forward so i was like leaning forward they have the anesthesiologist there and they give you a epidural it's different than a regular epidural um and it, it numbs you from about like here down or did me um that way you don't feel anything you don't feel any pain you do feel pressure um so be prepared for that there's some like pulling and tugging feelings that you will feel but you will not feel any pain if you do you let your anesthesiologist know right away they're like right by your head so uh they'll be there for you and have if you have any questions or any concerns or any um issues with it like any um I kind of had a headache during mine and I just let my anesthesiologist know, hey, I have a headache because you want to let them know before it gets too bad. Um, also, like if you're feeling nauseous, you say, hey, I'm feeling a little nauseous. <coughs> Sorry, guys, I had to grab Ruby. <laughs> I had to grab her because she was, she was starting to cry. Um, anyway, I was saying you want your anesthesiologist to know everything 
uh, before it gets too bad. If you have a headache, if you're feeling nauseous, let them know and they will take care of you. So you will lay there. There will be a drape in front of you. You will not see the doctors or anyone. Um, the bed lays flat and then it has two things for the arms. It looks freaky because there's straps on them because in some occasions they have to strap your arms. They didn't, I've never had my arms strapped down. I've had six C-sections. Um, they did give me oxygen to wear and you don't have to have it. I like it because it makes me feel better. It makes my anxieties go away because I feel like, okay, I have a mask on. I'm getting oxygen. I don't know if it's in my head. I'm sure it's actually in my head. Uh, but regardless, it was, I liked it. So if you, if you do want oxygen, that's always an option. Um, and at your hospital, they may just require that you wear oxygen, uh, have an oxygen mask or a, a nasal one. Um, so anyway, the C-sections are fairly quick. Like mine, I'm in there for maybe an hour, maybe like it's, it's so fast. Um, so your partner will be able to come in and sit next to you. They won't be able to see or anything like that. I don't know how it works for other, um, hospitals with photography, but we have a nurse in there and she or he, um, we've asked to take pictures and they take the best pictures and you'll see those on my channel. Like we have so many good pictures and they were actually captured live pictures um they didn't know it was on live so keep it on the dl but we got live ones and we were able to convert those into video media and put those on our channel so it was really cool because we got to see those and make like a little movie out of them um but they will so about an hour they have you in there the baby they get the baby out really quick like i would say the long the thing that takes the longest is getting you back put back together um and everyone has different things i've had staples i've had stitches on the inside i've had glue um j just glue and tape i've had stitches on i don't think the outside i think it was like inside and then staples that was in 2009 so it's it's gotten better I will tell you my sixth C-section was my best C-section ever. Um, and, and my doctor that I had was really cool and he actually cut out my old scar and then stitched me back up, which is amazing. And I wonder if that's why I had such a good C-section. I hardly have any pain at all in my incision area. Like, I mean, like none. It's weird, but I'm very grateful for that. Um, but you'll go back to recovery after they get you put back together and you'll be able to be with your partner. Uh, when they, when the baby is born, it really depends on your hospital, but when the baby is born, they do put the baby on your chest, just like um, a, a vaginal birth. They do, however, take the baby to, to the warmer first and they check to see how baby's breathing and oxygen and things like that. Then they bring your baby to you. Now, at my hospital, they don't let the dads cut the cords um, but this last time they left the cord long and let my husband cut it after it had already been cut once. They let him do another cut, which was cool. It was still a cool experience. Um, and then they give the baby to the dad right after, like while you're going into recovery. Um, but they do really want the baby to be with the mom right away, which is great. Like my baby's, cr she's like looking like an old man. Wow. <laughs> Cute. Anyway, um, so that's kind of just like a little rundown of what it would, uh, what it kind of looks like when you go in to have your C-section. Um, also, it depends on like your allergies and stuff, like what they put in the spinal, because at my hospital, they give you a spinal um, epidural plus morphine in there for pain after. I'm allergic to morphine, and so unfortunately, I just get Tylenol with um, my epidural so when it starts wearing off it really hurts but they did have pain medication for me um poor girl anyway they did have pain medication um for me bless you in the iv and um i was fine stay on top of your medications when they are offered take them because the last thing you want to do is get behind on your pain medication that is going to be for another video because I've had that happen to me and it was not very fun. Um, but anyway, hopefully that answered some questions about someone who's going into a C-section 
just like a general overview. Um, if you have more questions, you can comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and like this video. Um, if you want to see other content uh, different than this or even some that is the same or you have questions on what I just went over, uh, just leave it in the comments below and I will address those. Anyway, guys, thank you and I'll see you on my next video.